Grand rising, everybody. How's it going out there? What's happening, people? How be doing out there today? I hope you all having a blessed, wonderful, tremendous Monday today. Now, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, you probably wonder why I've been there, but y'all know how life is outside of social media. But anyways, enough of that. I hope you're all doing well today. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, make sure as soon as you come in, make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and by the way, shout out to all the new subscribers that have subscribed to the channel. Salute. And subscribe to the OGs that have been sticking with me since day one. The regular subscribers that have been sticking with me for this past period of time. I appreciate each and every last one of you for all the likes, comments, and everything. You guys really motivate me. You have no idea. You really don't. Oh, by the way, do not forget to share this video and turn your notification bell on so when I upload some videos, y'all will be notified. Oh, and by the way, as well, <laughs> don't forget to stay tuned at the end of this very video. But enough of me talking off the side of my mouth. Let's get it started, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to need for everybody to smash that like button right now. Let's get this out the way going. Let's get it ticking. Smash that like button. If you know, it's a bunch of jealousy out there. Because today's topic and today's video, we are going to talk about jealousy, ladies and gentlemen. So, make sure you stay tuned because you don't want to miss out. Alert! It is a disease called jealousy. Pray for the people who despise you. Folks, let me tell y'all something. It's so much jealousy out there today. It's not even funny. It is sad. I'm telling you, it is really ridiculous out here. People don't have no clue of what you have been through. People don't know all the obstacles, the trials and tribulations that you had to go through. As soon as you make it, you make it out of the hood, out of the ghetto, out of your hometown, your city. They want to spread this disease called jealousy and envy towards you. They should be happy for you. But at the same time, these people are so blinded by jealousy. They don't want to clap for you when you win. But if that was somebody else, they'll clap for them in a the heartbeat when it comes to you. But see, here's the thing. You may have grew up with these people. Or they had watched you grow up from a baby to a kid to a teenager to an early adult. Now you're making big things. Which means you could become the next big thing coming out of your city. You're doing big things popping like T.I. And they can't believe the fact that somebody like you had got out of the mud. You got out of the dirt. You didn't have to sell your soul. You didn't have to do none of that bull crap. You got out of the mud. You earned it the right way. You went out there and you did the damn thing. And here they go with that jealousy. Looking at you, me mugging you with that mean ass, Frankenstein ugly look. Look at him, he over there so seating. Girl, look at her, I can't stand her. She over there winning. These the same people that sit back and watch you succeed and watch you win. But they can't get it out of the mud, them own selves. See, they sit back and talk about you because they mad at the fact that cause you had made it out of a place that these people are still stuck in. But that was their choice. That was their situation. But you turned your situation into a blessing. Y'all type that in the comments below right now and say it with me. I had turned my situation into a blessing. You damn sure did, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm proud of you. But if you haven't made it there yet, oh, trust me and believe me. Your time is going to come. Don't mind these people. Just pray for your enemies. That's all you can do. Because all they're doing is making you even more greater. And they're bringing people towards you. Because the more people talk about you, they're going to see what's up about you. And once they start watching you, I guarantee you, people who got a brain and use it, they're going to look back at that person like, yo, this person ain't, ain't what you say, but they think they are. Oh, excuse me. This person that you're talking about, that is not a bad guy. That is not a bad woman. You just a hater. Because sooner or later, all these lies that was told about you is soon going to come true. I mean, it will come to the light. 
when the shit hits the fan, ladies and gentlemen, I guarantee you, these people that lied on you because of jealousy, watch and believe me, people gonna be looking at you like they stupid, but they doing this because they saw you went from nothing it becoming something. Now they mad at the fact that you are thriving without them. This could be your friends, even family, but half of the time it be 100% friends. Every here and there, you might have family that support you, but sometimes the just could come from your own people, ladies and gentlemen. Never forget that. And another thing, pray for the people who prey on your downfall. Pray for these people because they are really miserable out here. They don't have to watch you, but they, they choose to watch you. Because you know why? You that damn good. Not to sound cocky or arrogant or anything like that, but you got what it takes. And these people know that. That's why they all despise you. That's why they overlooking you. That's why they underestimating you, man. They know you got it. They know you got what it takes. They know that you the big dog. You the elephant in the room. And all the trials and tribulations, all the struggles you had to go through, these people know what you had to go through. But they choose not to help you. They rather just sit there and watch you struggle and laugh at you and talk about you. But here's the thing. One thing about them tables, they will always turn. Shawty, let me tell you something. Them tables continue excuse me them tables will get to, ugh, them tables will continue to turn no matter what I don't care how low you are right now I don't care what level you at in life them tables will always turn you may be last but you're gonna be first they may be having fun out there they may be in first place but guess what they're gonna be last they're going to be in second place and you're going to be in first place. Understand where I'm coming from. These people, they had the chance. They, have, they had the chance and the opportunity to help you. But they choose not to. Because they're scared that you were going to come up. But you are coming up. And you're going to come right past them and make it to the top. And these same people that laughed at you, they're going to be wanting to come to you for some advice. Trust and believe what I'm talking about, man. These same fools, these same idiots, these same clowns, they're going to be sent back and want to take some advice from you. But at the same time, they know that they were wrong for backstabbing you, for mistreating you, for underestimating you, man. They know they were wrong, but pray for your enemies because they don't know no battle. But when it comes to success, everybody, I'm not saying everybody, but the people that's going to truly Revent themselves to you. True colors is going to come out of these people, a.k.a. jealousy. It's like a disease out here. Every time you turn around, somebody don't want to see somebody happy. Somebody out there in the world don't want to see nobody else doing better than them. If you're around jealousy people, get away from these people. It is a truly disease out here. Or put on your mask like you got... I'm not going to say the C word, but just put on your mask and protect yourself because jealousy, that's very, very toxic. That's one disease you do not want to have, ladies and gentlemen. But you are chosen. You are a spiritual warrior. You are a king. You are, you are a queen. We don't get jealous. We don't hate on nobody. If they can do it, we can do it. If he can do it, if she can do it, if they can do it, I can do it. And you can do it as well. Y'all type that in the comments below right now. And y'all say it with me now. If they can do it, then well, I can do it too. So what's the excuse? Ain't no excuse. But your hate is your enemies. They making all these damn excuses. Oh, it gonna take too long. Oh, this and that. I, that, that, that. Bunch of excuses. Excuses on top of excuses. This is why they are not becoming successful. That's why they will never be the thing that they want to be. They listen to today's society. They let other people get in their head. They let that nine to five hold them back. But when it comes to you, you do it anyway. You don't care what nobody say. You don't care what nobody think. 
And on top of that, these people are mad because you got strength. They are jealous of your strength. And not only that, you get out there in the court and you do the doggone thing. You go out in that court like you Magic Johnson. I mean, excuse me. You get on that court like you Magic Johnson. Larry Bird, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, rest in peace. LeBron James, Stan Curfey in them. Everybody want to be a baller, but not everybody want to get in that court and play the game. Now do that. I'm going to say it for y'all one more time. And y'all type that in the comments below. Oh, just say it with me. Everybody want to be a baller, but everybody don't want to play in the game or get in the game and play the game. They would sit back on the bleachers and watch the other players play. But you, you are a baller. You are a shot caller, a brawler. Huh. But you, you sir, you ma'am, you got what it takes. You are a baller. You will go out there and you will play in that court. You will get in the game and you will win the game. And once you start winning, it's going to be a lot of jealousy. But don't let that jealousy stop you. Don't let that hate and people stop you from going where you want to go. You let that motivate you. Because when you got haters, you're doing something right. But if you don't have no haters, you ain't doing nothing right. I hate to say this, but get yourself some haters. Just mind your business and stay out of people's faces. Be low-key and work on your purpose and work on your goals. And I guarantee you, you're going to have some haters. Don't show off. Don't do nothing. Stay humble. Remain low-key, ladies and gentlemen. Because you got some miserable people out here. You be minding your own business. And here come their little monkey asses. Want to say something about you because you smiling. You could be smiling and showing your teeth. Girl, who he think he is? He ain't nothing. No, she just mad because you ain't with her and you ain't making her smile. You're not bringing that sunlight into her life. She probably at home with somebody that don't even give a damn about her. Fellas, you're going to have some of these women that going to be jealous of you as well because they're going to know that you don't need them. And you ain't going to need them. But the white queen is going to come right into your life and going to love you for who you are. Ladies, you're going to have some men, insecure, weak men out here, be jealous of you. Because they're going to want to try to get some of them goodies. They're going to think, you so easy going, but you're going to <laughs> you're gonna fool them. They're going to call you stuck up in all this. You're going to have even men jealous of you, ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, you're going to have the opposite gender mad at you because you walk around here smiling and you don't need them and you got your own thing going on. And on top of that, you are happy. I want to ask y'all a question. Why do people like to get up in the morning and want to go out there in the world and spread chaos, spread this disease called jealousy? Because that's what it is. Jealousy is a disease. Wish your haters, wish your enemies to get well because having that type of disease and you can tell when somebody is jealous of you. It's all in their eyeballs. It's all in their face. You can see it in their body language. They can't hide it. Somebody can say, I'm happy for you. And you can see the jealousy right in their eyes. You'd be like, mm-hmm. You ain't happy for me. You jealous of me, man. You envious. Pray for these people, ladies and gentlemen. Because they could have done the same thing that you were doing, but they choose not to do it because you know why? They were too scared. They let fear, anxiety get in their brain, get in their mind. Then they let the devil let them sit there and let them mess them up on their train of dreams. They let the devil get inside their brain. Now they're sitting there working at nine to five. Now their goals and dreams went down the drain. But when they see somebody like you coming up, Oh, they want to get mad. They want to get jealous. They want to cuss and fuss. They want to spread lies and slander your name. Get other people to turn against you. But I don't care who go. I don't care who turn on you for no apparent reason. Do not stop. Be like the energizer button. Keep going out there, ladies and gentlemen. Keep doing your thing. Because I don't care how many people turn their backs on you. You by not ever, ever throw in the towel. And you might not ever feel bad for cutting nobody off. Because when somebody show you that they really jealous of you, you're going to hang it up with them. Which means you're going to cut them loose. 
I don't care how long you knew these people. I don't care how good the history was. If somebody showed you jealousy or they mad at the fact that you are doing better than them, you leveling up, you thriving, you elevating. Yeah, it's time to cut them off. Kick it to the curb as we speak. But at the same time, pray for your enemies. They're just mad at the fact. They ain't got the self-confidence that you have. They ain't got the strength. They ain't got the courage. They ain't got none of that. They don't have what it takes to go out there and be a baller. They'd rather be sitting on the bleachers as a fan watching you ball. But hey, that's their life. That's their choices, right? But you ain't going to do that. You're going to go out there and play the game. You're going to go out there and play the game like Ray Allen, Michael Jordan, Allen Iverson, all of them. Shout out to the OG NBA ballers, by the way. Those was the those were the players back in the day. From the early 90s to the early 2000s. And in the 80s. You are a baller, ladies and gentlemen. Act like it. Don't let these haters stop you for chasing your dreams. Do not let these haters stop you for achieving greatness. Look at all them trials and excuse me. Look at all them trials and tribulations and obstacles Michael Jordan had to go through. Do you think he let that stop him? No. And by um, I say 96, 97, he came back to the game. And guess what? He still is the GOAT, in my opinion. Michael Jordan is the greatest of all time basketball player. In my opinion. And you, sir, and you, man, you could become the GOAT as well. But whatever gets in your way, you cannot let that stop you from reaching to the top. Whatever it is that you're good at, rapping, singing, dancing, actor, actress, whatever it is, you a, you a cooker, you a chef. If you're struggling right now, don't let that struggle stop you, man. Charlotte, let me tell you something. Without no struggle, there's no process. But as soon as you start leveling up, as soon as you start getting greater and greater, and people start supporting you, here come these little haters. They come the enemies, a.k.a. your cheerleaders. Because at the same time, they love you, but at the same time, they hate you. Because they wish that you were, they wish that they could be just like you. They wish they could fit in your shoes. But like I said, everybody don't want to be a baller. They rather sit on the bleachers and watch you play the game. Instead of them go out there and play the game their own selves, they rather sit back and watch you put in the work. They want to get mad when you succeeding. Like, seriously, who does that? That's stupid. That's loser's mindset. That's what losers do. You ain't no loser. You are a winner. But your haters, not to sound like a jackass or anything, but they are losers. Anytime you're sitting up here worrying about somebody, constantly talking bad or talking down on somebody, like they ain't going to make it out of their situation, that's a hater. They got jealousy in their heart. Get away from these people. Get away and change your environment. If your whole circle ain't nothing but jealousy friends, cut every single last one of them loose. And you will find, no, let me change that. God will send you the right people in your circle that is doing the same things that you are doing. And you ain't got to worry about no jealousy, no, excuse me, no envious, no none of that bull crap. That is clown behavior. That, that type of behavior to me is a bunch of clowns. This world today ain't never filled with clowns. I ain't saying everybody is a clown, but people out there that got jealousy, they got this envious spirit inside of them, ain't never the clown. Because they had no idea what people had to go through or had to go through in order to get where they at today. That's rappers, singers, you name them. Mot motivational speakers, YouTubers, you name it. But here they go, worrying about you. Worry about what they got going on instead of worrying about what they need to do, what they own lives. Misery loves company, that's all it is. But this jealousy and this envy and this hate a number of disease. Pray for your enemies. Pray that they get pray that they um how can I put this? Just pray that they get well. Cause they are sick right now. They are mentally sick. 
That is a mental illness. Jealousy is a mental illness. Especially when they get jealous to jealousy, the envy, the envious. That's a mental illness. Pray for your enemies. Pray that they get well. But other than that, you just keep on thriving. You keep on elevating. You keep on doing what you got to do. Like I said, you are a baller. Shot caller. Like Puffy Daddy said, it's all about the Benjamins. Now, what you want to do? Do you want to be a baller, shot caller, a brawler, or you want to be a loser? The choice is yours, ladies and gentlemen. But if you are chosen watching this video and you are thriving in life, you're going to be a baller. You're going to be a champion. One day your time going to come and watch how many haters or your friends from the past go trying to come back to be in your life. Watch, it's going to happen. But other than that, you ain't worrying about them. Because you're going to be elevating in life. And like Fat Joe and Remy Ma and French Montana, nothing can stop you. You all the way up. And nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. We in this together, ladies and gentlemen. Let's win.